I thought it was all over and done with. And now I'm pulling on that arm, almost breaking it in a panty shot. Break! And look at that, reaches the ropes. That was clear. That was visible. She reached the ropes. Jenny Botch, what else do you have in store, girl? We saw the leg bomb. We saw the torture rack to a neck breaker. That wasn't even enough. What else do you have for us? A submission hold? Do you have any submission holds? Jenny? Jenny? Jenny Botch. Come on, Jenny. I know you've got something up your sleeves. Your wristbands. <laughs> And a beautiful hammer lock. It's awfully rare, often rare we see Jenny Botch compete alone and by herself. We saw her once fight Lady Death. A very awesome matchup that was. Pull the phones. Oh, going for that cutter maneuver, but got countered. Pulls her back. Oh, ducks underneath for a schoolgirl. Middle of the ring. Two. And she pops her shoulder for a two count. Great makeups for the 1990s. <laughs> One, two. Oh, man, almost a three count. I just turned my head away for a drink, and I almost, I, we almost got a victory in pain. There was, there was none of that in the, uh, the new version of it. Oh, wait a minute, leg bomb! The leg bomb! The le No, oh, oh, again a rope break. Going for that glitch, uh, that glitch dance. Holy shit, Inverted Atomic Drop, did you see that? And now go for the leg bomb for the third consecutive time. In the center of the ring, sky in position for the count. And it is all over. Jenny Botch defeats Ms. Emily Payne. That means that Gina Carano and Payne have to go all the way to the bottom if they want to get those tag team gold belts. Once again, double S's everywhere. I am proud of you, Soul Calibur 4. Not only are you guys a great tag team and great tag team champions, but you've also given us great memories in the video game world and the franchise of Soul Calibur. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go on to a 15 minute break, 15 minute intermission. So grab what you guys need, some drinks, some soda, uh, some food, some merchandise. Go for a smoke break, a toke break. We'll be back in 15 for some tag team action. And of course, folks, still to come, main event, Danny Cans and Jason Niaga here on Tuesday night. And he is 
is the former triple, actually a triple crown winner, triple crown champion, winger of the fantastic Young Cans, and of course the boss of No Mercy Hardcore Wrestling. Last week, he and Diego have gotten the better of the, of the, of the new Rhapsody right here. Supercard 9 last week. It was their first and only title defense in only a span of one month. So sad to see that happen, folks. But hopefully, hopefully they can beat the two bosses of Fantasy Pro Wrestling, Vicious Jeremy and Winger. There he is! <laughs> he was probably tending to his kids backstage, Captain. After all, he is the father of the year. He's a family guy. <laughs> he's a Peter Grissom. No, actually he's not. He's not. But this loving father and a devoted husband sporting a Fuck Mercy t-shirt is titanium. And look at him. Look at him showing off. Whoa! It's like Lois and Lois were a dude. <laughs> hey, he's glitchless. There's no weird bobos or marks on his head. He must be 100% mint for this match. And if Titanium and Larry Laren win this matchup, it could be a huge shot in the arm for their career as tag team champions. Here we go. Hey, how the hell did that happen? Hey, how you get a YouTube No, you can't. Stop lying, Captain. Okay, alright, alright, I am. I'm sorry, man, that was mean. That was me, man. You can get all the apps you want. <laughs> I the said. Damage has been done. I said you can get all the apps you want. Oh, forget, forget about it. Just forget about it. Whoa! Jesus! New Rhapsody is starting off on the, on the right foot! Blind forum on titanium. And look at that winger saving his partner. And Captain Obvious singing uh, the, the, the new Rhapsody's theme song. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, what the fuck, titanium? That was the Tazplex! You don't see that shit anymore! Nice! That went, that went over Titanium's head. His... His glaring dome of a skull. And up next, folks, will be our main event, Danny Kens and Jason Niaga. Go over the cover, a double pin, and he chooses Titanium over Vicious Jeremy. Now we know who the odds-on favorite is. Oh, that was cool, man. That was cool. And BJ Way Snow Tam. A silent but deadly spear. What? To what? Whoa! Off camera. That was totally off camera. Go over the cover and the head, the balding head of Titanium gets Surprise. a rope break. Surprisingly not. <laughs> How can 